So this week was full of cool, fascinating, and juicy science. Perhaps the most dramatic event of the week was the launch of the Mars rover Perseverance to the Red Planet. The liftoff from Cape Canaveral happened under gorgeous clear skies just when the launch window opened on Thursday morning. The rover and a Mars helicopter shot skyward on top of a huge Atlas V rocket. If all goes according to plan, the craft will touch down on Mars on February 18th, 2021. Microbes can live a long, long time. And researchers realized this after discovering them beneath the seafloor of the Pacific Ocean. These tiny creatures had been basically asleep for 101.5 million years. So that was a long time ago. That was even before T-Rex walked the Earth. But as soon as the researchers gave these microbes some nutrients and a little oxygen, voila, they woke up. On a lighter note, researchers in Australia discovered five new species of assassin fly, and they are hardcore killers. Really, these notoriously aggressive bugs feed mostly on other insects, and they often wait to ambush and attack their prey with a neurotoxic saliva. These insects now have fitting names, as the scientists named them after Marvel characters. One fly with red and black markings on its abdomen was named after Marvel's Deadpool. Then we have the Black Widow fly, the Thor fly, the Loki fly, and of course, the Stan Lee fly. Will these assassin flies face off? Probably not. We also found out this week that a secret defunct UFO hunting program is actually not defunct at all. The Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, i.e. UFO Hunters, allegedly ceased operations in 2012. But the Pentagon's search for UFOs didn't actually stop at all. It's just under a different name. This one is called the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. And though the program is classified at the moment, UFO findings could become public over the next six months, the New York Times reported this week. Rounding out the week, there's been a lot of COVID-19 news, of course. One story in particular popped up on Live Science's radar for its oddity and potential danger. Dozens of scientists and science enthusiasts developed a COVID-19 vaccine, and without any FDA approval, they sprayed it up their noses. What could go wrong? That's our science news roundup of the week. Thanks for joining us at Live Science. You can read more about each of these news articles on our site, livescience.com.